FIFA 23 has officially arrived and we are starting with none other than Chelsea. We do actually have the choice of choosing Graham Potter, but let's be honest, I'm way better. And obviously the objective of this video is to win the Champions League. However, every single season I will have an objective to hit and if I don't hit it, I have to release my best player. And this is the team that we have loaded into. I have not messed with a single thing. And let me tell you something right now. You guys know me, that formation is getting switched. Why does this guy play for Chelsea, man? Why did anybody but I think that was a good idea. There are so many things I want to change with this team. And with 142 million, I'm pretty sure we can make something happen. And our objective for season one is to make sure that we win a trophy. If we fail, we have to sell our highest rated player. And in that transfer window, we started it off by selling on Hakim Ziyech for just under 40 million, as well as sending Kepa out on loan. Not before bringing in Portuguese winger Rafael Leo away from AC Milan for just over 66 million. And on top of that, we brought in Portuguese centre forward How. Felix for just under 75 million as well. Leaving the team looking like this going into season one of this rebuild, we are rocking with the false now because it literally takes 66 weeks to convert Felix from a centre forward to a striker. But take a look at the side, there's absolutely no weak links at all. And we are in the Champions League this season, we are joined by AC Milan, RB Salzburg and Dynamo Zagreb in the group stage and quite frankly speaking, it's got to be ourselves and Milan all the way in this group. But once I realised that after three games already this season, we hadn't registered a single win i knew that i had to step in and show the boys how it was done but this was not going to be an easy game because we were playing against european giants liverpool we started this game off by peppering liverpool's goal but we just couldn't finish it sterling we see that run rafael leo can we get it back oh, each Kovacic, now Felix is still on the ball. Oh, now Felix, he isn't on his own. He's chased down by Van Dijk. He's on the other four. Oh, my. Oh, it's a beautiful run. Stealing. Can he go all the way? No, we can. Oh, there's a chance. There's a chance. How Felix. Down. No. What? And then Liverpool showed us just how cruel the game can be. Like this. Man, are you joking? We have had so many chances. And Liverpool get the first goal. I was supposed to play the game, show him how it's done, but I'm just losing him the game. And then they killed the game off entirely. Oh my god, this is just so bad. This is so bad. And that loss against Liverpool woke the boys up because we only lost two games from that game all the way to the end of December. We have thankfully made it through to the round of 16 after that shambolic start to the season. We are joined by AC Milan in the knockouts and we are facing off against Atletico Madrid in the round of 16. And on top of that, boys, we are currently three points clear at the top of the league. After the start to the season we've had, this is a massive turnaround. I really didn't feel the need to do anything in that transfer and no purely because this team as it stands is absolutely phenomenal there's nothing more that we can do to, to improve it really at this point next season however we will be looking to introduce Fofana to the starting 11 as opposed to Thiago Silva he's 84 rated almost 39 years old and he will start to decrease massively in overall but for now we have a date with Atletico in the Champions League round of 16 but that first leg did not go as I imagined and he's going into the second leg oh my god 4-1 are you joking we weren't in a good position four one down on aggregate going into the second leg it was an absolute everest to climb if we had any chances of staying in the champions league oh that's a beautiful ball come on rafael leo it's all you it's all you oh please raheem yes that's one back that's one back we can actually make this happen one nil up in the first 20 minutes of this game it's not over yet and i was right it wasn't over yet the breakaway Boys, boys, we are officially, officially back in this round of 16 tie. It is 4-3 on aggregate. We've got two goals in the space of 10 minutes. It is all to play for now. Kovacic, Sterling, Sterling, back post. Rafael Leo, play. Oh, no way. Oh, my God. With the dink. Oh, Raheem on his hat trick. Oh, my God. How <laughs> oh, the hell have we done this? We have made it. Four all on aggregate in the first half an hour of this game. Boys, we are well and truly back in this tie. Oh my God, Raheem stealing. Oh, boys. Oh my God. We have bagged four goals in the first half of this game. Atletico Madrid have gone to absolute shit. And we are 5-4 up in this second leg of the round of 16 after going 4-1 down in the first leg. Boys, how the Freaking hell, we pulled this one off, but we didn't stop there. Oh my, boys, we are destroying Atletico Madrid. We are 5-0 up. Oh my God, Kovacic, 
Oh my god. And so, oh, oh, boys. Oh. But one lapse in concentration and Atletico were right back in the game. Oh no. No, 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 no. Don't even think about it, Atletico. But in the 81st minute, Fields came back to haunt his former club. Oh my god. Against his former club. Against his former club. Is he going to celebrate? Is how Felix, it looks like he bloody is though, he's forgotten about the red and bloody white, he's all about the blues now, come on, we are into the quarterfinals. But Athletic Cambridge definitely made me sweat a little bit towards the end. Oh no, oh my god, squeaky bum time once again, Atletico, I've got to go back with Correa and the dying embers of this game, we've got less than five minutes to hold on to this lead. And what has turned out to be one of the craziest ties I have ever been a part of. Oh my god, boys. From 4-1 down to 7-6 on aggregate, we have beaten all the odds. Raheem Sterling is the hero for this game. Three goals, hat-trick hero, and somehow we progressed to the quarterfinals. That was absolutely Balmy. And after that absolutely crazy round of 16 tie against Atletico Madrid, we face off against RB Leipzig in the quarters. But we couldn't seem to find our form in the first leg. Stupid score. Oh my god, boys. Why can't we win? We once again found ourselves losing going into the second leg. This time, it was a little bit of an easy deficit, but nonetheless, it was still going to be a difficult game against RB Leipzig. At least this time, it's only 2-1. Oh my god. Oh my god, what a goal from Kante! An absolute moment of brilliance from the, the just the nicest guy in football. That was just a total shot in the dark, but what a strike! And that goal from Kante set the turn of the game because we just couldn't stop scoring. Oh my god, and the game is done! And as you can see, I was quite proud of myself. It's getting real now, boys. Semi-finals only ourselves. PSG, Barcelona and Madrid are left. And we face off against PSG now. We got embarrassed by Atletico. We got beaten by RB Leipzig. PSG, are you the one that we finally beat? Oh, boys. Why can we never win in the first leg? Why is it always hard? With us yet to win the first leg of any of our knockout stage games thus far in the Champions League, we go into the second leg once again, 2-1 down against the toughest opponent we've faced so far, Paris Saint-Germain. Oh my god, how Felix is through. Please. Yao Felix. Please. Oh no! Oh my god, how Felix on his left. Come on! Come on! We are level on aggregate and we are back into this game. Felix! Showing us why it wasn't a mistake to buy him. He has been tremendous this season for us. Oh, boys. Boys. Think. Rafaelio. Oh, my God. The Portuguese connection coming in clutch once again. Even though we were 2-0 up, we still peppered their goals with shots. But PSG reminded us just how deadly they are. Oh, oh. Wait. Oh, no. PSG, man, they're so clinical. Conceding didn't scare us off attacking them, but it was a beautiful ball over from Felix to Rafael Leo that sealed the deal. Oh my god, Leo. Leo! Oh! Finally! Finally, we have had so many chances in the second half, and we finally, finally put one away. Rafael Leo has just been tremendous for us, man. Oh my god, we're in the final! Oh my god, boys, boys, boys! We're in the Champions League final. We have overcome so much this season. Boys, we have pulled the Real Madrid this season in terms of comebacks. I swear to God. And it does look like we are facing off against Barcelona in the Champions League final. But do you remember that objective? Let's see if we've gone and won a trophy this season. So it's safe to say that there is no forfeit for next season because we went on to win the entire goddamn thing in the Premier League. We were four points clear of the bottle jobs. Liverpool finished third, Man City fourth, for United finishing below them. Then it was Arsenal. <laughs> and it was unfortunately Brentford, Bournemouth and Nottingham Forest who bit the bullet this year. It was Liverpool who went on to win the FA Cup as well this time. As well as us pulling a double off this time, we've got the potential to make it a triple. Villa Real won the Conference 
League. Inter Milan won the Europa League as well, beating Manchester City 4-3. And Real Madrid absolutely wiped the floor with Frankfurt in the Super Cup. Boys, it's safe to say we have had a tremendous season, but the man of the hour, Raheem Sterling, with over 40 goal contributions this season, he has been outstanding from start to finish. And you guys know what time it is now. It is time for the Champions League final. After overcoming so much adversity, our first four games, we only got three points out of a possible 12. We then got our backsides handed to us in the round of 16 first leg by Atletico Madrid. Overcoming that, beating them 7-6 on aggregate. Wiping the floor with RB Leipzig on aggregate in the quarters. Having an absolutely ridiculous semi-final against PSG. And it all comes down to this. The Champions League final against Barcelona. Couldn't have asked for a better start as our attack proved too much for Barcelona's defence. Oh, ho, 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 ho. sweaty goal! Get your boobies out! It proved to be a very bad day at the office for Barcelona because once we scored one, we just couldn't stop scoring and it got embarrassing for them. <laughs> they did get one consolation, but it was far too late. Took a foot off the gas just for a set. Why are you giving us that sell? You do realise you're like 5-1 down, right? And in the end, we made Chelsea the Champions League winners for the third time in their club history. And there we have it, boys. We have officially completed the objective of today's video. We won the Champions League. We overcame so much adversity in the round of 16. The quarterfinals, the semi-finals, we came from behind in every single tie and we've come to the final and taught Barcelona a lesson in football. I realise that this is a new style of content that you guys aren't used to, but this is the way I'm going to be doing things going forward. But if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, smash the hell out of that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on so you never miss a video I upload. We are literally so close to 6,000 subscribers now. And the lot goal for today's video, considering it is the first video of FIFA 23, can we hit 300 likes? It has been your boy Gordon. Hope you guys have an absolutely amazing afternoon. And until next time, I'll see you later.